subscribe to my channel Names Instagram for weekly updates. Now let's move on to the video. Tip number one. Whenever you start up with chopping vegetables or fruits, make sure that you place carry bag like this on one end of the chopping board. Now all the waste like peels from your vegetable, ginger, garlic, onion, even from your fruits can be moved into this carry bag like this. And once you are done with peeling, you can simply take off the carry bag and throw it in your dustbin and your kitchen counter looks clean as before. Tip number 2. If you want to peel ginger, you don't need any special tool. Simply take a spoon and scrap like this. It reaches each and every corner and peeling is like a breeze. That's all. You are done with peeling. Tip number 3. How to peel garlic easily. You will need a pestle. Just to hold your garlic like this and then focusing at center of your garlic, heat for 5 to 6 times. And now, the skin will separate easily and you can peel them so quickly. Tip number 4. How to vacuum seal at home using straw. Just take your chopped vegetables into a ziplock bag and just tap like this making sure it's spread all over the ziplock bag so that there should not be any gap. Now take your straw and insert on one end of the and suck in the air. If that's all, you're done with vacuum sealing. This is ready to refrigerate or freeze for a long time. Tip number 5. Whenever you're washing your utensils, I'm sure you will place them in a basket to dry off. And all the water from the utensils will drip off over the countertop like this. To get rid of this problem, buy a quick dry mat which we use for our babies to protect bed from getting wet. Just cut it depending on size of your basket and place it over the countertop and then place your basket on it. Now whatever utensils you wash, the water from it will drip over on this quick dry mat. Since this is a quick dry mat, it absorbs water and dry off so quickly. And your countertop also will not get wet. But make sure that you wash them every week and dry them in a hot sun. Number 6 is if your kitchen sink um, tap or faucet looking dull because of mineral deposit on it, simply take a small piece of lemon and rub it over just like this. It removes off um, those mineral deposit just like that in a second and um, even the chemical substances will not do the job so efficiently like this. So after you rub in uh, you can take a dry towel and wipe it off and your tap will look new, shiny and uh, glossy. That's great right? Tip number 7. If you are using your pressure cooker for baking, just um, spread 1 teaspoon of baking soda at the bottom and then put your salt on it. This way, once you are done with uh, baking, uh, cleaning will be so easy like this. Tip number 8 is organization tip to utilize back of your cupboard door. Just buy a double sided tape like this, place a clips you can hang in your kitchen towel, kitchen gloves or um, even small tools in this. This is a great way of utilizing your cupboard door for storage. That's all guys, these are all 8 smart and useful tips that I share from my kitchen. I hope this video is really helpful for you all. If so, don't forget to hit on the like button to watch more interesting kitchen tips and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.